In this video, we're going to continue our conversations about pump functions. In earlier, uh, in earlier videos, we had talked about standard product sum and standard sum of product functions. And um, now in here, what we're going to do, we're going to start from the standard form and see if we can minimize these functions and find their minimum um, expressions. And uh, um, the first approach we're going to do is the most general approach. It's called SAR, which uh, stands for the stands for systematic um, algebraic uh, reduction method. And um, SAR, um, as I said, is very general. As a matter of fact, most computers and CAD systems, when they are trying to take an expression and minimize it, they will take this approach because the systematic uh, algebraic reduction is uh, its, its process is very um, systematic and step by step, as the name implies. Um, so first thing you do, you take any function that are given to you using true table, which usually is a good idea and you expand it, the first step you do, you expand your expression to, um, to a kind of a, a standard form. Um, and since we are in a standard form, since um, between the SOP and POS, SOP is a lot easier. Typically when we do standard form, we're gonna to go to SOP. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to compare every pair of expressions there, every mean term with every other mean term in there. And we're gonna apply the adjacency theorem, which basically says if I've got A and B, and or that with A and B not, if there is one variable that's changing, I can replace it with one. So that's, that's a pretty powerful thing. And we're gonna apply this over and over again. The reason we know we are done is when we cannot find any more pairs that we can combine and reduce them, okay? At the end, we would apply the consensus theorem uh, if, if that opportunity exists and if you don't remember. Uh, so we're gonna keep remembering that at the end, uh, we, uh, if, um, if we can, if, oops, if possible, um, simplify simplify by um, using consensus theorem, okay? And if you remember consensus theorem basically says, if I've got A, A and uh, B, and I or that with A not C or B and C, what I can really do is replace it with A and B or A not C. So we can get rid of this term. So let's go back. So, so this is the system uh, SAR, abbreviation SAR, is used by expanding your expression um, to its standard form using, using truth table is really what uh, uh, is preferred uh, because this way, you make sure you don't lose any of your terms by mistake. And then we keep combining terms. We compare every pair that is there. We're gonna combine all the terms where only one variable is changing, uh, such as this, okay? At the end, if there is a possibility of use the consensus theorem, then we'll do that as well, and then we're done. Now, how do we know we are not, we are done with keep, keep comparing. We know it is when we've written uh, the new expression and we've compared all the pairs and nothing has combined. As long as something combines, you gotta go back and retest it. Great, so now that we know the process, let's go ahead and do an example, okay? Um, and the example wants us to uh, minimize the following function using SAR. And the function I'm giving you is that it's f of a, b, c is a naught, b naught, or 
a b naught or a naught b c naught. Okay. Well, we said the very first step is that we have to write the standard as, as the SOP form or the standard sum of product form. And the way we do that is we'll take a look at a truth table for this thing. Function on this side, <clears throat> input on this side, A, B, and C. We got 0, 0, 0, we got 0, 0, 1. And based on this function, we see that A naught, B naught, that gives us a 1 here and a 1 here. Then we have A, B naught, that gives us a one here <clears throat> and one here and this one gives us a one right here everything else is zero so this the function the full sob form of the function is basically going to be um, a naught b naught c naught or um, a naught b naught c or a B, A naught, B, C, or A, B naught, C naught, or finally the last one is A, B, C naught. Hopefully I got that. Oh, uh, nope, uh, that is A, B naught, C. Okay. So we've got this is uh, A, B, not C. This one is A, B, not C, not. This one is A, not B, C. Perfect. So we got this. So as we say in the step two, we're going to compare every term and look for places where uh, they combine and, um, uh, and we can get rid of one of the variables. For example, if we, let me use a different color, let's just say green one in this case. If I compare these two, you notice these two actually compare favorably with each other, then you'll see that the only variable that changes here is C and C naught. So we can literally combine these so we don't have to write them again. These will be A naught, B naught. You gotta be somewhat uh, careful here because want to make sure you know which two combine because the one the term that does not combine with anything else has to be rewritten so now we're going to take this term and this term and see if they combine and if you look at that yes they do combine so this term and this term does combine and the combination gives us a not c not okay now the question is, can we combine the first term and these, uh, this term and this term? And um, it, yeah, sure, the, because A is inverted. So it looks like the first one is really combining with everybody. So these two also combine, and the combination gives us, um, um, let's see, uh, B naught C naught, right? And then um, there's the first one and the last one. Well, that one doesn't because the C and A both are inverted, so we can combine them. Great. Let me use a different color to, f now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the second term and compare it to everything after it, just to make sure, because that hasn't been done. So A, B not C combines with this, this, this term. No, because B is inverted and C is inverted, so we can't do that. How about this term? And this term, the answer is no, cannot combine it because C and A both are converted. How about the this and this? And that one actually we could because if you notice B and B not C is fine, and A is the only thing that is converted. So we're going to be able to reduce that to B not C. Great. How about, oh, well, let's go to see what other color we got, blue. How about this term and this term? Well, no, we can't combine. How about this term and the last term? We can't combine that either, so no luck here. How about these two? Oh, yes, these two can be combined. And what we'll end up with, C is the only one that is complemented, so we'll have A, B, out. 
Great. So let's go ahead and find, let's rewrite our function. It's always a good idea to, so that was the first time through step two. We're gonna try it again. So this time we have A, B, C, and our function is A not B not, or A not C not, or B not C not, or B not C, or A B. Okay. Now, we do the exact same thing again, and so we'll take the first term, and I'll try to use the same color. First one was green. Can I combine the first and the second? No, they're different variables. You can't combine them. First and the third? No, can't do. First and the fourth? No, can't do. But first and the last? Yes, we can. And these A's, the only thing changes, so those two will be reduced to B naught. Okay, and how about, that was it. So let's go different color. How about the second term and the third term? Can't do second term and, nope, nope. So A naught, C naught is gonna stay with us. So this one probably has to be written as is because it hasn't been combined with anything. How about these two? Can I combine these two? Sure enough, can do that. Mm, and then we get a B naught. We already have a B naught, so that's a so so that's at least covers these two terms, so we don't have to write them. And of course, you notice that the the, the this neither one of these terms will combine with the last one, so no point in doing that. Okay, next step, redraw again. And f of a comma b comma c, and so b's we will write as a B naught or a naught, C naught. And that is the minimum. So you can try to combine them. You can combine them since you cannot combine anything more. This is the minimized function. This you can do with as many variables as you have. There is really no limitation. As you can notice, it's very tedious. You gotta be very careful to make sure you don't make many mistakes. And those are two qualities that our computers have. So most of the CAD system and most of the computer software that does minimization uses this technique. In the next videos, we will bring up a graphical way of doing minimization that is less tedious. And that's the favorite for um, people to work on. There is some limitation when we get there, we'll talk about that's called a Karno map or a K map. Um, that brings us to the end of the, at least the, simplify uh, some sort of systematic algebraic reduction method.